right here I'm mixing my bleach I'm using Wella Blunder bleach mixed with Wellexon Perfect 30 volume developer I'm just going ahead to mix that properly and I'm gonna go ahead with my first foil To create a more blended effect, my first foil, I'm not going to be teasing it at all. And then the second foil, I'm going to tease it slightly. Then my last foil is going to be teased as much as I can. So that way when I let down the foil, it's going to create like a more blended effect. And please make sure to saturate your sections with bleach. I mean, the last thing you want is by the time you're done washing your wig and then you're going to see like blotches and patches um, that is at breaking. It's happened to me before. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But it's at breaking. So please make sure you saturate your sections. What I'm doing right here, I'm just taking like sections of the air and painting it is like in the stroke method. So that way, when I go in to bleach the old wig, I'm going to have like highlight on the wig. I mean, you can go ahead and bleach your wig first and then go in and put highlight. I just feel like um, th when I do it this way, it saves me more time. And I can do both process in a day. Whereas if I'd gone to bleach my the old air first to like a to like a brown or to like a level seven eight, and then I'm gonna wash it, dry it, um, and then go back again to highlight it. But when I do it this way, I can just do my bleach wash so what a bleach wash is basically you're gonna put bleach and developer with like warm water 
and mix it together and submit your wig in there so once you do that if you have like if you pre lighten your hair just like i'm doing in the video by the time you bring it out the lighter part that has been previously lightened is gonna go like i don't know three four shades lighter and your natural um, color like for example like the one b in this wig is gonna go like to like a level seven or like level six i really really hope i'm making sense but that's the only way i find i can explain
this is what it looks like after the bleach wash so what I did basically is instead of washing my wig I just removed the foils and submitted it into the bleach wash so that's like the bleach mixture the the bleach the developer and warm water I just submit the old wig in there and th that is the result for my root color I'm using cholesterol perfect level 6 natural so that's 60 mixed with Wellexton um, 20 volume developer so I'm applying that mainly on the roots And slightly dragging it down so I can create like a V effect so that way I can preserve the lighter pieces around the face or um, more like an ombre but with lighter pieces around the face so that I can frame the face properly
For this part, you don't need a brush. Just use your hand to pack on the color as much as you can. So that way you can ensure that you know it's blending properly. Make sure to blend your root color very well with the rest of the color so that you can avoid splashes and yeah so that you can avoid disappointment heartbreak yeah i know the last thing you want is to wash your wig and then you realize that you you missed spots not even the spots you miss a lot of spots so please um i can't stress this part enough when you're applying your color open the air look at it flip it up flip it down apply the color everywhere I let my color sit for at least an hour I think for this particular week I left it for about two hours and then I followed with a moisturizing shampoo a deep treatment and a shine serum right here I'm giving it like a slight blow dry so that I can create like a movement before I go in with my curlers And this is what it looks like after the blow dry. I really can't do without blow drying my wig um, before styling. It just gives it this movement. It makes the style come out even better. Please make sure to use each protectors whenever you're working with it on your hair. Each protectors is a must. There's no ifs, there's no buts. Especially with, I find with raw hair, raw hair takes everything in. If, you, for example, because it's so pure, if you apply color on raw hair, it takes everything in. If you apply apply it, it takes everything in. Like raw hair has no shame, really, literally, it has no shame. So if you are playing with raw hair and you're using your heat on the highest setting and you're blasting it on your hair what's going to happen is by the time you finish curling your hair maybe it might be maybe you can be able to get away with it once maybe or twice three times you're going to fry that hair i promise you that happened to me before hmm. And my all-time favorite heat protector is Osmo. Yeah, I love Osmo. Um, it doesn't weigh the air down. It's super lightweight. No matter how much you use, and it creates like this shine. It doesn't disturb your curls from lasting, unlike some heat protectors I've used in the past. So yeah, I'm going to make sure to leave a link of all the products I'm using in the description so check that section out for for links if you are interested in any of the products
and if you are looking for that set it and forget it spray short cuff silhouette spray is your girl she's going to set you in place anytime i wear this spray my car stay in the old day the next day the day after the whole week it never disappoints so as long as you use it correctly it's going to serve you well I let my coat sit in for about an hour or two I think I left it for about two hours this particular week and let it sit in so that the coat can marinate a certain properly and then I let down my curls use a white tooth comb to comb it out fluff it around play with the air you guys know this is my favorite part I can sit down here all day literally all day just give me food music I don't know podcast something to, something just give me a noise in the background and i can sit down with air all day playing with it moving it around doing all sorts yeah it's my happy place anyway thank you guys so much for watching i mean this is a long video and you stay true to the end thank you thank you thank you thank you um don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave a comment in the section let me know what you think let me know what you think I should film next. <laughs>